Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. I have an unboxing to show you of some art supplies I bought. I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to do this, and so I'm going to tell you about my experience. And I'm in Canada, so I've never ordered from this company before. I was curious about the shipping and the process. I did not get charged duty. I am shocked. So I'll show you my order here. I left it open on the box so you could see. So here's a look at the order, and the total goods are $92.87. This is Canadian dollars. Uh, I paid about seven and some change Canadian for shipping. So by the time it was all said and done, uh, I was just over $100 and they did not charge me duty when this came in. I was shocked and I kept checking my email looking for a note about duty and nothing. So I'm really impressed. So I'm going to share with you what I bought. So I just kept this to show as well, uh, the total. So you can see that the Final total was $100.63, um, and the shipping I paid $7.78 for. So I'm so excited that I got this at such an affordable cost. Um, you can see I have bought some pencils. I'll show you those in a minute, but our local art store charges $6.99 a pencil, and on Jackson's website, they were on sale that week, and I paid $4.05 a pencil. So let's take a look at what's in the box. I'm super excited to show you. Uh, so I'll get these out first. I did take a peek earlier just to make sure everything was in the box. Um, so these are the Karen Dash Luminance colored pencils. I'll show you the colors I got. Right now I only have a white in these and I definitely wanted more. I Currently I'm using the Polychromos from Faber-Castell and I really like those but I really wanted to try these because the white that I have is so creamy. Ah, oh, this is the fun box. These colors are so pretty. So these are three of them. So let's see what this one is called. Light Malachite Green. Love, love this color. There we go. And this pink is also beautiful. This one is called anthroquinoid anthroquinoid pink and then this one is a green which I'm loving dark greens right now this one is dark sap green so pretty love this and then in this box let's see what's in here nice these are beautiful so this one is yellow ochre, which is another color I've just been loving lately and I wanted to make sure I included this in my collection. And this next color, this one here is called Burnt Sienna. That one's a really pretty too, nice uh, kind of a cherry brown. And then this one is definitely more of a lighter color and this one is called Brown Ochre 10%. So I thought it was good to have a variance. Again, I'm starting from scratch on this. I have no colors in this line except white. So I really had to pick some of my favorite colors. I tried to pick some light and some dark just to get a variance so that I could use them for sketching. Mostly just rough sketching. Uh, there's two in here. If I'd have known they were three to a box, I would have bought one extra just to fill up the box, because why not? But I didn't know at the time. Uh, this one is called Light Aubergine, and it's almost like a purpley, but like a muted purple. It's more like a brown, a dusty kind of color, which is so pretty. I'm not a big purple fan, but I do like this one. And then this is another staple that has to be in my collection, Prussian Blue, uh, is another color that I just love right now, and... I have for a while, especially with colored pencils, just being able to do outlines uh, or baselines with this color is my favorite. I love this color. And then in the last box, we have three more. There we go. So let's take a look at this one first. Uh, so this one is um, Violet Gray. Again, it has like a purple tone, but it's not purple. It's kind of a, a reddish gray almost, I guess. Kind of that purpley. It's got a little bit of blue in it. But a medium tone I thought was really nice. And neutral too. I seem to really love neutral colors right now. 
which is weird for me because you know I love uh, bright colors. This one here is French Gray. I thought this was one of those colors that I had to include as well because I just felt that it would be very versatile. And it's more of a darker tone on the darker side. Uh, this one here is Light Cobalt Blue. I'll show you what the nib looks like also. That one's super pretty. It's almost like a, a kind of lends to a lilac, but it's blue. It's not definitely not purple, but that one's nice. So there's a quick look at the pencils. Let me put these this way. We get a kind of a tighter shot on these. There we go. That looks a lot better. So you can see those a little bit closer. That's the color palette I have to start. And then of course, as I mentioned, I have a white. I mostly use colored pencils for sketching in my notebook, uh, doing like quick color studies or even uh, quick sketch studies, I guess, where I just want to drop some color in, some shading, but nothing like finalized. And I thought it would also be nice to try these over gouache. As you might have seen in my last video, I got the Hemi gouache set. And so I thought maybe trying adding some shading with colored pencil might be something I dabble in um, in the future. But I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure I'm comfortable there yet. But I definitely will use these in my sketchbook. I'm going to do a video uh, swatching all these colors that will be coming up next. So make sure you subscribe so you get the notification for that video. So I'll show you what's in these two packages next. I'm really excited. I haven't opened these yet, so it'll be new for both of us. Ah, so these are double wrapped, very well packaged. I do have to say that about the order, it's very well packaged. Great, so we have another unboxing. Let's see what's in these packages. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. So I got a refill of the sketch ink. This is what I currently use in my Lamy pen and I wanted to try another color. So I had nothing to go off of. Um, I just picked a blue that came up. All of the art supplies that I bought from Jackson's are, are ones that I either can't get locally, are too expensive, or I can't get on Amazon or anywhere in Canada that's accessible to me, I guess. Uh, these inks, I initially bought this one. I have this in another bottle that's almost done. I bought it on Amazon, but I couldn't buy it again. And so I decided to go on Jackson's and it was one third the price, which is crazy. So again, I got a great deal. These were just over $10. I think they were, let me check the sheet. These were $10.67 each. I'm sure when I bought this before, I paid around $20, $25. So, I mean, again, and that's Canadian, that's a crazy deal. I'm excited to try out the blue. As I mentioned with the Prussian blue, doing outlines in the blue is something I wanna try all my artwork right now is with black outlines. So I'm excited to test that color out. So this last item, this is the last item I bought, probably the most expensive. I'll show you what it is here. Uh, this one I saw in a video, uh, Monkey Mintaka had it, and she was talking about it, that someone had recommended it, and so she got it, and I was super inspired that day, and I don't know if I was just in an art craving mood, but I immediately went and bought it, and that's what inspired my purchase for everything else. It's based on this, and this is not something I could find anywhere around where I live at all. And it's actually from the UK. It's a Derwent product. Um, and again, Jackson's is based in the UK. So I got the Tinted Charcoal Paint Pan Set. So here's a look at what the box looks like. Uh, tinted Charcoal. Uh, it comes with 12 half pans and a water brush and it's in kind of like a travel sized container. I really want this not for final pieces. I know you could paint end to end with this because it's charcoal. I want to use it for doing tones on sketches. So I do a lot of outline work and again in my sketchbook if I do some quick sketches, I want this to be a way to do tonal studies and to get better at tonal studies and, and tone in general because tone creates form and I mean when you jump in just with color, uh, you can have lots of right the right colors or close to the right colors and not have good form because the tones are off. So tones are very important. That's like the shadows, the darks, the lights, the things that create the form around, like if you've seen those sample drawings of the cylinder where you put the light on one side and the shadows and cast shadows and 
all core shadows and all that stuff. That's basically what this would help me study and make and become better at, I think. So let's open this up and see what it looks like inside. And it's really well packaged. <laughs> That's so cool. I thought this was just a good variance of color. I just, it's not all blacks. I'm not a fan of, I don't know, black in that way. And I really wanted to have some colors. And I think there's another one that's similar, maybe a tinted charcoal that's more like neutral tones, I think. I think this was the more colorful, if I'm remembering correctly. I literally knew about this for five minutes after watching the video of Monkey Mintaka. And then I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. So here is a look at the colors. I'm sure they don't look really like what this sheet has. It's translucent too, so it's hard to say that it's actually that accurate. There's a white though. That's kind of interesting. I'm curious to see how that lays down. Uh, so we have dark moss, forest pine, driftwood, mountain blue, ocean deep thistle, which seems like it'd be a purple shade. Glowing embers sounds nice. Burnt embers. Burnt Earth, Natural, Dark, and White. And so this is sealed as well. I like actually that it has the sponge area. I mean, you always need some sort of paper towel when you're watercoloring. I feel like this would be similar using a water brush. Nice. It looks messy. <laughs> I can tell that there's charcoal already on the plastic. It looks messy, but I love that this is just in a travel size kit. And so let's take a look at this water brush. This looks really intricate. I'm going to pop the lid off. So it's kind of a, a bigger bristle. Let me try to steady the focus here. Sort of a bigger bristle, uh, but it has a nice fine point. So you could probably get those details, but get the broad washes also. I assume I need to take this out before I put water into it and then filling this up. It's actually not that big a brush, but it looks like it would hold a good amount of water. I wonder if I could keep this. I wonder what the point of this would be. I was wondering if I could just keep, I guess I probably could keep this and put water in it and then put it together when I'm on location. I think that might be the idea. Let's see if this will fit in the container put together. I'm guessing it doesn't because why? Yeah. Oh, it's so close. Look at that. So close. But it does not fit. So I bet this would keep the water in, I guess, to fill it up. You'd need something or it would almost be useless. You'd have to carry water in some other way. That would be unfortunate if that was the case. It seems like a tight fit. I'm going to test this. I'm going to do a swatch video, not in this video, but in an upcoming video. And I'm going to test if this can be waterproof in here. So be sure to subscribe again so you're notified. So if you want to see that video and let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see first. Would you like to see a video about this paint set first or the swatching of Karen Dash pencils? That fits nice that way with this part, the tapered edge being tucked along the water bottle. It doesn't fit the other way. But these look messy. I can feel a little bit coming off, a little bit of residue, but it's not, that's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I think it would be messy. And there's some mixing areas too, that's really nice. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited to try that. Uh, before I wrap this up, I do wanna show you one more thing. I have some stickers coming to my shop. I'm going to do a shop update. I'm thinking about adding some original paintings. I haven't done them yet, but contemplating what I want to add. Let me know what you would like to see. I was thinking about doing some birds. I also paint some landscapes periodically. Um, so that could be something. Hopefully this isn't taking out the camera too bad, but these are holographic stickers of birds and says always chill. This is the Arctic Tern. So he is actually a bird that frequents the Arctic, but also warmer climates. They migrate the farthest of any bird in the world. So kind of a pun on words with the always chill. 
but these will be in my shop in an upcoming update on my Etsy store and there's links below you can see my shop I have a bunch of stickers in there already of my watercolors so I try to line everything up nice this is what I bought this is my haul this is what a hundred dollars got me which is kind of crazy but they're premium art supplies so and they bring me joy what can I say just before I go I'll mention that these two ink colors I didn't tell you so the black is called Lottie and the blue is called Frida and they're by Rower and Klingner and they are my favorite inks for Lamy pens they dry super quickly so as soon as you put down a line your hand is not smudging the paper at all which is great because I hate waiting for ink to dry the only caveat is that if you leave them in a pen too long they'll gum up your pen I find so you have to make sure you keep your pen active and they're no problem at all using it every week or so at least I find is fine they can sit for a few days for sure uh, I'll do a video as well when I get out the Frida and fill it into another Lamy pen uh, when the ink runs out of my current Lamy, I'll do a video on that one and show you what that looks like. I'm excited to see that as well. Uh, again, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see a video on first as far as swatching and test review. I've, uh, I'm going to do something for each, so let me know what you'd like to see. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to get these things from Jackson's and see how the process went. I'm really excited about how it did, and I, I will order from them again. Uh, it took like a week and a half to get here. Not crazy. And I chose like the slowest shipping. So that's reasonable for sure. Uh, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified as I post more videos to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.